Last time, we introduced the idea of the normal equations. The normal equations can help us find the closest solution to a linear system of equations that is not solvable. As mentioned before, in order to visualize what's going on as we solve for the normal equations, I will assume that you have a solid intuition for the geometry of linear transformations. Ready? Here we go! We can think of this X transpose as encoding a linear transformation from 3D space to 2D space. Here, I have shown the three basis vectors in 3D space. We can imagine the three columns of X transpose as telling where those three basis vectors should each land after the transformation. Notice, the animation makes it seem that the transformation goes from 3D space onto the XY plane, which is still in 3D space. However, please remember that those transformed vectors are inherently 2D creatures. They live in a completely different space, the 2D space, with only two numbers describing their positions. Next, imagine a vector y sitting in 3D space. This vector is a linear combination of the three basis vectors. If we apply the transformation x transpose to this vector, then, since the transformation is linear, our transformed vector y is the same linear combination of the transformed basis vectors. Keep in mind that the three new basis vectors are all two-dimensional creatures now, and the transformed vector y is two-dimensional as well. Taking things one step further, when you have a 3x2 tall matrix, this basically says you have two 3D vectors. In this context, what X transpose does is essentially transforming each of these two vectors at the same time. So now, the two three-dimensional vectors become two two-dimensional vectors, described by a 2x2 two two matrix. So, let's put all of these together. The left-hand side of the normal equations is applying a 3D to 2D transformation to two vectors at once while the right-hand side is applying that same transformation to one 3D vector. Letting the transformation play out simultaneously on both sides, we end up with this equation. A 2x2 two two matrix times our coefficient vector equals a 2D vector. Now, we are in the home stretch. To solve for beta not beta, all we need now is applying the inverse of this 2x2 two two matrix to both sides. And bada boom bada bang! The blue vector is the solution to our normal equations. Looking back at our graph of overdetermined equations back in the last video, it does make intuitive sense that this vector gives us the closest solution we want. Here's the entire process again, but in algebraic form. In the end, the vector b is given by x transpose x inverse times x transpose times y. This is the formula for a coefficient vector. We can go through this formula with the same visualization as before. First, we have a blue vector y in 3D space. Then, we apply the transformation x transpose to map it into 2D space. And finally, applying the transformation x transpose x inverse gives us the result. Now, this technique for visualizing the normal equations only works when we have three data points. If we have more than that, it will be not possible to do this kind of visualization since each additional data point will require a new dimension, but our universe only has three spatial dimensions. But you get the idea. The equation still works under the rules of matrix algebra, and you could always solve for the coefficient vector using this formula. Next time in chapter 4, we will generalize the concept of normal equations to solve multiple regression problems. See you then!